Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Uh, some of you all know through my pregnancy vlogs that I did with Peyton that uh, we do cloth diaper most of the time and my mom and I had actually made a lot of pocket cloth diapers and the inserts for them while I was pregnant with Peyton and now I'm back at it again and that's because Peyton has recently outgrown all the size small diapers we had made for her so I am scrambling to make larger diapers as quick as I can and I'm also making new inserts for them that are a little bit larger to fit the larger diapers and are thicker so that they have more absorbency and so today I'm going to show you how I'm making the cloth diaper inserts. For my materials I use flannel and I like to pick this up when there's a really good sale or when I have a good coupon and that really cuts down on the overall costs. Now the other material I use are these microfiber towels and I actually got mine at Sam's Club and the entire pack of 30 was under $20. There are definitely tons of other materials out there that you can use, but these are what I chose um, because they are not only affordable for me, but they are also easy for me to get. The towels say they are 16 by 16 inches, but they are not actually that size. Um, because they have the serging on the edges, they are a little bit smaller than 16 by 16, and they are not really square, but we will deal with that uh, a little bit later. So to start, I make my soaker sandwich, and I'm making three layer ones today. So I have a layer of flannel, then three layers of the towels, and then one more layer of flannel. Make sure they are stacked as straight as you can get them and pen through the layers in several places. Then head to your sewing machine and sew straight lines through all the layers. Take your time and try to keep from getting any wrinkles as you go. My lines are about two to two and a half inches apart. Now it's time to square up the stack. Using my rotary cutter and a sharp blade, I trim off the edges, making sure I'm cutting all the surged edges off the towels. This is a super messy step because microfiber fuzz gets everywhere. However, it needs to be done because the surged edges will make your thread snap and possibly break your needle if you sew over it. Here's how it looks once it's squared up. Now measure to see what size piece you're left with. Mine is about 13 by 14 inches. I know based on the size of my diapers, I need the soakers to be about four inches wide. So I cut it into three pieces measuring just over four inches wide by 14 inches long. Once I search the edges, the soakers will be right at four inches wide. The last step is to finish off the edges. I'm finishing mine using a serger, but you can finish them with a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. I will link to a tutorial showing how to do that. Since my serger only has one needle instead of two, I also sew a straight stitch just inside the serging line with my regular sewing machine to ensure these last a really long time. If your serging or zigzagging isn't perfect, it's not a big deal. Just make sure to straight stitch a time or two past any areas that aren't perfect so that they hold up over all the washing and washing that these will go through. The important thing really is that the soakers are absorbent, not that they look fabulous. So there you have it. That is how I make my diaper soakers for Peyton. And it really depends on the time of day as to if I use one soaker or two because I've um, kind of paid attention enough to know when she will need the extra absorbency or when she uh, won't be peeing quite as much. So you kind of just have to pay attention to your child and figure out what will work best for you. If you have any questions about this or other projects, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also don't forget to subscribe so that all of my future videos end up in your subscription box and I will have new videos up soon. Bye!